In this lesson, we are going to connect to a sample MySQL database from IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition ID. In my local system, I have MySQL installed and there are a couple of databases. As you can see over here, I have MySQL Workbench open and here I have this particular database and under tables, if I expand, I have a sample table which is called employees. And if I right click on employees and select sample rows, it has three records. Now, without using MySQL Workbench or any database specific editors, we are going to use IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition to connect to MySQL. If I go to IntelliJ IDEA, by default, IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition does not have any support to connect to MySQL database. Although the Ultimate Edition has Community Edition, as of today, it does not have any. So, to connect to MySQL, we need to take the help of a plugin which is called Database Navigator. Before I proceed with the plugin, I want to show you the current version of the ID that I am using. If I go to help and click on about, I am using IntelliJ IDEA 2024.2 Community Edition. One disclaimer, the plugin that I am going to demonstrate now, I have tested this with this particular version. As it is not an official plugin from IntelliJ or JetBrains, it may have issue in future, but so far it has worked wonderfully and it is really popular. Let me click on close. To install the plugin, go to file settings or you can directly press Ctrl Alt S, select plugins and type database navigator. Under marketplace, you can see this database navigator, click on install. Accept, install in progress. We need an ID restart. Click on restart ID. Clicking on restart. Once the ID is up, I'll resume the recording. Post the ID restart, you can notice we have this icon called DB Browser. Although the plugin name was Database Navigator, here in the view, the icon is named DB Browser. We can right click on top of this and we can move it to other sections like right top if I click. Now it moves here. In case you are not able to view this DB Browser on your ID, you can go to View, Tool Windows and under Tool Windows, you would get this DB Browser. If you click this, then the icon would appear in case it is missing. Now if I click on this DB Browser, we get a view like this. We can click on this plus icon for new connection and here you will see the common databases are available like MySQL, Postgres, SQLite, selecting MySQL. Here we can provide a connection name. I am renaming it test connection. Host I am keeping as is. Database name I have to change which is DemoDB. Accordingly, the URL is adjusted. Authentication there are couple of types. None, OS credentials, user, etc. Keeping it as is. User in my case is root. I am typing in my own password. Driver source bundled library, meaning the library that is bundled with this plugin or you can change it to external library in case you need it. Click on test connection. The connection is successful. Click on OK. Click apply. And then OK. So here you can see under test connection, we have schemas available. As I am using the root user ID and the password, I have every database listed over here. I can select on this demo database, click on this to expand. Under table, I can see the table available, right click. We can edit data, we can extract SQL statement also. And another thing we can do, if I go to open SQL console, we can use a new SQL console or the test connection which we created. I'm selecting the first one. Let me adjust the size a little bit. Here you can see the schema, I can select demo DB. And I can write sample queries based on my requirement. I'm just typing a select statement to face the data from employees table. You can select the entire thing and press control enter or we can use this particular button to execute statement. I'm using the shortcut control enter. We can see after the query execution, we are getting the output result over here. Using IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition and the plugin called Database Navigator, we can easily connect to MySQL database and tables. Apart from executing the SQL queries, we have few other features also available like we can right click on the tables, we can edit the data from the grid. Also, we can extract the SQL statements whether it is select, whether it is insert. So other features are also available. So this is how from IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition, we can connect to MySQL database without using any external database editors.